The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good afternoon, folks. Welcome to the February 11th, the fantastic Friday edition of today's Trader Z Show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. And let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. And the easiest way to do that is to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. We knew and I make that one little two by four shift. Well, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. And today, you and I, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We'll go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I just past one o'clock in the afternoon. I do want you to know I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here. But more important than that. And that's this. During this next 60 minutes, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. You can dial on in at 877-927-6648. If you can't call in, we've got you covered there, too. You can always send me an email. Send it to steve at tfnn.com. Inside the subject heading, please put radio show question. Of course, in our Tigers General, any and every ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on Fantastic Friday. Of course, this is Tiger. Financial News Network, I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to Lush Show. Right now we've got a mixed bag out here. You've got the Russell Trading Higher and the New York Stock Exchange, both up by five points, so basically they're flat. The Dow's off 41, one-tenth of a percent. S&P 21, five-tenths of a percent. NASDAQ 100, one and one and a half percent, one and one-tenth percent, let's say 167 points to the downside. Semis are off nearly 2% or 67. Uh, gold is up four bucks. Silver's down 15 cents. Light sweet crude is up two bucks. Leading the charge dollar wise, the upside. Monolithic power systems up 30 bucks or 7%. Regenerant pharmaceuticals, 23 bucks, nearly 4%. HubSpot, 23, four and three tenths percent. Um, to the downside, Amazon's off 66 bucks. That's 2%. Zebra Technologies, 5.5%, 25. Google's off 20. That's less than 1%. Service now down 3.5%. That would be 21 bucks to the downside. So let's do this here. What are the markets doing? We've got a bunch of questions that have already come in. So I'm already behind the game, and we just started the show. So let's do this here uh, with regard to what to be watching and observing today. And that's going to take a look at the four equity futures contracts. So on the upper left, you've got the ES Mini. We can see that right now price is trading into its red oscillator and change line. So we're trading at 44.78. The oscillator and change line is 44.7750. If price closes below 44.7750, at a minimum, you should expect and anticipate a move to 43.96 and below that 42.58 and below that would be the low or the hammer candle from January 24th. The same routine for the NQ. Price is sitting right on its oscillator and change line. The oscillator and change line is 14.539. We're at 14.539. If price closes, though, in this case here, not just below the oscillator and change line, but below the 14.484 mark, then that's going to signal we revisit the bottom of that profile, which means we're really going back and testing the January 24th low. The Dow, the same playbook out here. Now, price is trading just slightly above its oscillator and change line, which is printed at 35.040. So that's the key level. If price closed below 35.040, you would expect a move to 34.466 or 33.605. In the case of the Russell 2000, it's stronger than the other three, stronger from the standpoint of where it's trading in relationship to its oscillator and change line. So you need to see a close here below 2000, even Stephen, and then that suggests to move to 1977 or 1913. So watch these daily numbers, the red oscillator and change line numbers. They will give us a signal as to really what the intent of the market is, perhaps beginning on Sunday evening out there. Now, what happens if these things hold? Well, if these things hold, it can make another move to the upside. You've got profile resistance in some instances where we don't have profile in, uh, resistance, such as in the case of the Dow. We'd be looking at 36,390. However, there is, let me see, I, I'm not going to change screen here. I'm just going to go check to see. Now, so the Dow was attempting to form a new profile earlier. 
uh, subscribers saw that this morning. It has since vanished. Doesn't mean that's not where buyers and sellers are. It just means they don't have that new profile as we speak. So that is pretty much what I would be looking at here. Um, and uh, let's start to get to some of our questions. So uh, the initial, the first question, I'm going to go inside the Tigers then. We've got call head seating here. And the question is from Mr. Bill, wants to take a look at Illumina. Now, Mr. Bill posted something inside the den, pretty intuitive, I would say, uh, in that he has a tool. This is a tool that I believe is on the Thinkorswim application. Is that correct, Mr. Bill? Where he's able to take a look at some seasonals in a pretty... Um, pretty simple way. Now, I wasn't able to look at your chart. Uh, sometimes I have problems uh, as a host looking at charts that uh, subscriber or individuals in the den post out there. But uh, what I can say, man is running. Oh, yeah. Sorry about that. I know you don't want All right, are we back live on the air? So one of the ways you get rid of that man running on the beach, folks, is you just simply shut down the system. That was not my intent, but, uh, you know, Stevie just simply hit the wrong button out there. So we were talking about, well, oh, Illumina, I-L-M-N. So I-L-M-N, that was for Mr. Bill. And I was saying he's run a, a seasonal pattern. I believe he said that in, is it most February's, Mr. Bill, that uh, Illumina trades to the uh, downside? I think that's what he said, but I don't want to misstate that. And in this case here, if we just take a look at Illumina with regard to key areas to be observing, you've got price uh, consolidating with inside its daily profile right now. So your support and resistance level support at 325.75, 364.12. You don't see the chart. Son of a gun. And where did that? So that's on the wrong screen. Wow, Stevie, Stevie's having some, some difficulties, folks. Do not let me drive. I haven't been doing any drinking. There's the two by four. Thank you. All right. So here, now we're back to Illumina. Everybody can see support and resistance on the daily. Support again is at 325.75. Resistance 364.12. You're trading below the bottom of a uh, bullish structured weekly profile out here. So that's not good news. That really supports what Mr. Bill's been looking at from a February standpoint. And you're trading below the bottom of its uh, monthly profile. Let me just get uh, ILMN. By the way, those support levels, those resistance levels now, the bottom of those profiles, weekly 357.82, monthly 383.39. So I'll just pull over the daily time frame chart here for Illumina uh, for us. And uh, price is also trading below its red oscillator and change line. So, Mr. Bill, this suggests to both you and I, Illumina is going to go make a run for that January 24th. Is it January 24th? No, January 28th low out there. That TD9 count bottom. Now, price should find support at 325.74, the bottom of that uh, daily profile. But uh, check out the volume. Should that unfold, check out the volume as it's moving into that January 28th level. It's moving in with volume out there. Then it may actually take that out and you get another A to B equals CD to the downside. So that's what I see, Mr. Bill. We take care of Illumina. And uh, thanks so much for the request. We've got, we're going to a hard break here. But I can tell you we're going to look at um, SoFi. For Mike P, we're going to, for Michael M, uh, previously in Sarasota, we're going to look at Microsoft and Apple. Uh, Brent wants to take a look at Zillow. Uh, Hector wants to take a look at the XLE and the XLF. So we got plenty to look at out here, and we'll begin doing that as soon as we get back from this break. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education 
Educating Investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. we got the Dow down 93, S&P's off 27, NASDAQ's off 186. We're going to go out to John in uh, Philly. John, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you doing today? Steve, I'm doing excellent. Hope you're doing the same, and uh, thanks for taking the call. My pleasure, as always. So I think Steve, I wanted to ask if you could help me. I'm trying to get prepared for the uh, next couple of weeks. Yep. And be prepared for a scenario whereby the S&P and the NASDAQ uh, completed a bounce on the daily charts, and if so, and if uh, decline under those January 24th lows, could you show your chart work that brings up those quick tools that gives us the expansion targets down lower? I'd just like to have those numbers sure. in the back of my pocket in case a, uh, an accelerated decline with wide price spread in uh, Tom O'Brien's uh, language occurs and having those uh, lower targets uh, sure. to, uh, to uh, shoot against. Sure, absolutely. So folks, uh, on this uh, this uh, set of charts that we're looking at, in the upper left-hand corner, you've got the S&P cash index. And in the upper right-hand corner, you've got the March contract for the ES mini. Lower left is going to be NASDAQ 100. Lower right is going to be the NQ. So in the case of the S&P 500, the high out here was at 48.1862. That was on January 4th. It forms that B point, which is January 24th that John had mentioned. For the S&P cash, that's 42.2262. Makes a retracement. So far, it's been a little bit above a 0.618 retracement, 62.53% to be exact. So it's met that mark out there. And, John, if this is the beginning of the next leg lower, the one-to-one -one area would give you a price projection of 39.99. The 1.272 would be 38.37. The 618, 1.618, would be 36.30. And the 1 to 2 would take you down to 34.03. From an ES mini standpoint, your A point's at 48.08.25. The B's at 42.12.75. So, folks, that's the level that the ES mini would have to take out to suggest an A to B equals CD to the downside. And the C point, again, a 0.618 retracement, 45.86. So the first target here would be 39.90. Second, 38.28. Third would be 36.22, third being the 1.618 expansion, folks. And then the 2.0 level, 33.95. That's on the ES Mini. In the case of the NASDAQ 100, the actual high
high, the date that we're using, takes us back to the trading day of November 22nd. And that was at 16,764. Our B point still is at 24th, and that's at the 13,724 level. Now, the retracement here is less than a 50% retracement. So if you do less, so let's say that the, this is a signal that the move is headed lower. When you do less than a 0.618 retracement, you typically have a lot of pent up energy and you'll do more than a one to one A to B equals CD. The one to one price projection level is 12.156. The 1.272 is 11.329 and the 1.618 is at 10277. For the NQ, we're using the same high or the same date, I should say, and that high was at 16.768. So the one to one, John, that would get you to 12, 198, the 1.272, 11,365, and the 1.618 will be 10.305. Does that give you the information that you're looking for? Perfect, Steve. Uh, I love your charting tools. They come up so quickly, so easily. Kudos to you for constructing all those tools uh, to give us those answers at a glance. So uh, thanks so much. You bet. Uh, I'll be uh, listening to uh, your follow-up calls. Sounds great. Thanks so much for calling. That was John Claude Keeley in uh, Philadelphia. <laughs> hey, I love the Winter Olympics. I don't know if John, are you still on the line? <laughs> don't think so. But uh, well, we'll call him John Claude Keeley, who was the uh, he commanded the uh, slopes out there, didn't he? And I say John in Philly, he commands the uh, slopes inside of the uh, markets out here. Let's go to our next question. This one coming in by uh, email. So we've had a couple of requests here uh, to take a look at Apple. One was from Eddie from yesterday in Boca. And the other is uh, from uh, Mike, who formerly was from Sarasota and now is uh, taking up residence in uh, Portugal. So let's go take a look at Apple. And to try to go through this in uh, detail, AAPL obviously is the ticker symbol. And I believe it's trading now back inside its daily profile. Yeah, just back inside its daily profile. So the first level of reason, and, and so one question, I think really they're both the same question here. Um, but Mike's question specifically is wondering whether or not uh, price will trade higher. And if Apple closes below the top of its daily profile, 171.87, you only have one consecutive day right now below that level. But if you had a second consecutive day, Mike, then what the signal would be is price should pull back to maybe the 162.33 or 156.61 level. That's a bullish structure daily profile. Price is just consolidating with inside its weekly profile. So any pullback should find support at its rising trend line, maybe around 158 or so. So really lining up at the bottom of that daily profile there. And on a monthly basis, there's, there's no... There's no profile levels here for us to take a look at. Let's pull over the white background charts and see what they say. In the white background chart in the daily time frame, not only are we beginning to trade below the bot, the top of the daily profile, we're also finding resistance at the oscillator and change line. Now, I don't know what the retracement was from top to bottom out here, and we could we go measure that pretty quickly. And as far as topping signals are concerned, the only topping signal that I have, and it's a valid topping signal, I believe Basil did a show earlier. Those of you that listen to a Basil show, you know that when a uh, instrument gets to wave number four, oftentimes something else will happen. Not always, but sometimes. And so Apple did that uh, fourth wave, that uh, letter D, that took place. That was confirmed. That was not confirmed until the uh, 10th. So that was yesterday out there. So you do have that going for you. And so, Mike, uh, it looks to me, at least as of 124 in the afternoon, that Apple is more likely to head lower than it is to head higher. And again, that close below the top of that uh, profile out there is going to give you that signal that we could see a move back into those uh, 156, 162 level. On a weekly time frame, price is also below its red, uh, it's, I'm sorry, its oscillator and change line. It's green out there, but still below that level. And from a counter trend move, we know we had that Rhodes momentum indicator top. We had that TD9 count top. We're staring those in the face. That took price back towards support, meaning the bottom of the monthly profile, which is 150.95, didn't get down there. But the rally has uh, stopped, has failed to be able to clear that green oscillator and change line. So that's an area where a counter trend move. So really, Mike, that supports what we're taking a look at. Now, look, if price closes above the oscillator and change line, 174.25, we'd have a different uh, interpretation. We're going with the interpretation at 125. You've got a TD9 count top that is likely to complete in the uh, month of February out there. This says that support is at 166.60 or uh, right around that level. So the answer to the question, what is Apple communicating to us? It really depends on the close today. But if it is a close below 171.87, I would say prepare for a further move lower inside of Apple. Uh, 
Your second question, uh, now this was not Eddie's second question, but this was a second question, second question for Mike, was to take a look at Microsoft. MSFT is the uh, ticker symbol. But as we take a look at it, it's consolidating with inside its daily profile, 313.91 as resistance, 291.19 as support. Brand new weekly profile is formed, so real key level to be watching the downside is 296.53. We've already received a change in trend signal from Microsoft with a close below its first, the bottom of its first weekly profile, and that was on the week of January 3rd. New profile that's forming bullish in structure, nothing more bearish than a failed bullish pattern. And that would say a close blow 296.53 would suggest lower price. We don't have that just yet. And that lower price then would take us into the 264 to 285 level. On the white background charts out here real quickly, what do we have on the daily time frame? Same kind of a thing. Price is below the red oscillator and change line right now. So Mike, this is saying Microsoft wants to make a move for 291.19 or perhaps that January 24th low. We'll be right back. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other tigers and tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed Designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. So in looking at the white background charts for Microsoft, we begin with the yearly chart here. The yearly chart shows what? It shows a TD9 count top. The last time uh, Microsoft on a yearly basis had a TD9 count top was the 1999-2000 high, and that led to a uh, move below 
the the uh, prior year's low out there. Well, in the case of Microsoft, that says prepare potentially for something in the 200 area. So the yearly chart here, Mike, is uh, uh, is bearish right now. Not a bearish from it's bearish from the standpoint that, that you don't get bullish on an annual basis until you begin trading above the prior year's high. We're, we don't have that pattern as we speak right now. The monthly chart out here, um, we're below the oscillator and change line. That says you can have a further pullback. The weekly has a confirmed sell the D point pattern out here. You're below the oscillator and change line. That uh, new profile that we took a look at or explored is really important. So watch that 296.53 level, I believe it is. The daily time frame below the red oscillator and change line says you at least pull back to 291.19. So uh, that's what it looks like as we speak right now for both Microsoft and Amazon. Apple. And uh, thanks for reaching out to me. And I hope you uh, enjoy um, uh, Portugal out there. Uh, Eddie had asked about NVIDIA yesterday. He had asked about Apple and NVIDIA out here. And that's one of his favorite stocks. And so right now, what you've got in NVIDIA, Eddie, now this is the, I've got the monthly chart up here. Well, hey, on the monthly chart, let's take a look at the monthly chart. You've got a TD9 count top and prices trading below that green oscillator and change line. That suggests that you could get a pullback. And that pullback could even take you to 134.59 out there. Now, let me go to the daily time frame chart because I think what Eddie really wanted was the play-by-play -play version here. And so monthly is a little bit uh, too long. So on the daily time frame for NVIDIA, what do we have? What do we have? Uh, we have price likely targeting 242.47. And Eddie, if price closes below 242.47 or thereabouts, that's the oscillator and change line, you should then see a move back to the 215 to 227 level. As price is moving back there, you're going to want to see what the volume is because that's that January 24th swing low. If you're accelerating into it, you go test the bottom. If you really accelerate it, you could, in fact, take it out and form a new pattern to the uh, downside. And to the downside, again, what we'd be looking at here. Oh, that's, uh, I'm sorry, that's Microsoft. Let me get NVIDIA, NVDA up on the screen out here. So you've got that. And come on, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Just wait. I don't know why the system is slow. I think I've got a couple of things that I probably shouldn't have running. So that downside target area. 215, 227, and below that, you'd be looking at 177, 78. So, guys, thanks so much for uh, waiting a uh, extra day to uh, get to those. Let me get to the uh, next request out here. I probably have to speed things up. This one coming from Mike P., who wants to take a look at uh, SoFi. So let's take a look at SoFi. I kind of feel like when I look at my... Uh, my uh, emails out here in the quest. Uh, maybe uh, maybe this is our this is our TFNN trucker group out here. I love it. So Mike wants to take a look at SoFi. Please look at it. I think it's a, a good sector. It's in a good sector of banking. Well, here's what you've got going on with SoFi on the daily time frame. You've got a confirmed roads momentum indicator bottom that took place on January 28th with that bullish hammer candle. It was followed up the next day when price closed above the oscillator and change on. You created that Three River Morningstar pattern. So what price is doing is finding some resistance. So you've got this little sell zone. It is a slightly bearish structured daily profile, Mike. So your resistance zone is 1349 to 1528 out there. In fact, yesterday's shooting star candle is just a, another indication of that key resistance at 1350, the 1349 level. That doesn't mean sell it. just means that's where your battle is at. You know, this is the front line, the offensive line against the defensive line. And that's uh, sitting at 1349. If the offense can uh, take those guys out, then it's going to get to the safeties. And the safeties are at 1528. If you get past the safeties, you go score a touchdown. And at a touchdown, that gets you to the 2204 price point area. How's that for a uh, Super Bowl Friday edition of SoFi, since they are playing, I believe, in the SoFi Stadium? Ha, Stevie's pretty quick, eh? Yeah, probably not. If we take a look at the weekly chart for SoFi, we've got the TD9 count top, price below its breakout level, 1438. Um, so not really looking great here as we take a look at that. So that's the only time frames that I've got here uh, for you, Mike. So I hope that helps you out as well. Uh, you've got the battle between the buyers and the sellers in there at the 1349 level. The next request coming in from... Let's see who we have here. This one was coming out with some Mike. We got, oh, uh, Brent, who wanted to take a look at uh, Zillow. 
So let's get Zillow up on our screen out here. Uh, it went long from 48 yesterday for one of his earnings plays. So Brent could very easily be out of this. I don't know. But Brent, uh, here's what Zillow has done today. It's taken off. You've got big, wide, talk about wide price spread, accelerated volume. Well, you've got it. Now, some people would look at that and they say, I can't see the price spread. You've got to take into consideration the gap here. But what price has been able to do inside of Zillow is uh, – with that accelerated volume, get above the top of its daily profile. And that's at the 54.45 level. But price, why did price stop where it did? Excellent question. And Stevie can answer that just simply by narrating the chart. Why did it stop where it did? Well, because price was trading below the bottom of its weekly profile, which was bullish in structure. So the resistance zone here is between 57.72 and 62.87. So Brent, if you did exit the position here because it was just a quick trade, I totally get that. Uh, because Zillow hasn't really proven itself to you from an intermediate term standpoint. Now, maybe it has if we look at the white background charts. And so let's find out if the white background charts say something else when we look at the weekly time frame. And we put this up on the screen. It doesn't say anything else. It does not. It does not. So right now, it's got potential. But it has to close above 62.87. If it can do that, then it gets to those safeties at 73.16. And above 73.16, it gets to the home run touchdown zone at 116.79 out there. That's the daily, a uh, weekly chart. The daily chart out here, again, showing that Rose momentum indicator bottom. If price can continue to move higher, it says, you know, forget about those sellers that are at the bottom of the weekly profile. Well, then you have another round of sellers potentially at 59.33, the TD9 breakdown level. Now, if price can get above that, your next TD9 count breakdown level is at 67 bucks, even Steven. And on the monthly time frame chart, so on the monthly time frame chart, interesting, last month was bar number nine of a TD9 count. So you're going to get a TD9 count. This top with a TD9 count, it did it on the bar following bar number nine. The breakout level is 4081. So if, in fact, this is just a counter trend move inside of Zillow, don't take it off of your charts and your list or anything out there. Because what you'd want to do is let's take a look at this again uh, towards the end of the month. That's if it doesn't break out uh, out here. Because then maybe we've got some setups on the daily, on the monthly, which we know we would have or we should have, maybe we get some type of setup on the weekly chart as well that would match some type of bottom signal on the daily time frame. So that's what's going on with Zillow. Brent, thanks so much for your request this uh, a week as well as uh, calling in. Always like to speak to uh, anyone that's willing to speak to me. And uh, so thanks so much for doing that. We've got a request out here from Hector and the fuel injector. That would be Patty out here. And happy, fabulous, frosty Friday. Now, uh, this will be a weekend so it's interesting. I started on my long haul COVID protocol about a week ago. And there's this one medication that is another wonder drug, which didn't come in for me until two, three days ago, two days ago. Yesterday was the second day that I took this, uh, took this medication. And I have, and I, and I have not felt this good. It really began yesterday, almost uh, almost within hours of taking this other medication out there. I don't know if it's because of that or some of the other things that I was taking. Why am I even talking about this? Well, because I'm starting to get my taste back. So this with football weekend, I, this is going to be a frosty, fabulous Friday and Saturday and Sunday. When we get back from this, we'll take a look at the XLE and the XLF for Hector and the fuel injectors. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Technology around us is changing every day. 
With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, uh, folks. If you're looking at my screen, you're seeing it's kind of frozen here. I'm not talking about the movie Frozen. I'm talking like you don't see a whole lot of price movement. I, I hear some things churning. The hamsters are churning inside the CPU. I, I wonder if this is because of what uh, Ruby had posted um, and uh, something about uh, you know the Russia, uh, uh, the Russia Ukraine, and you know uh, war is imminent out there. And that uh, certainly, uh, you know, it looks like uh, it looks like the half pipe on my screen out here with the uh, jump uh, hitting right into the side of the hill out there. But in any event, let's do what we can to try to help out uh, what we have on the line under. I believe we've got a caller. Is it Mike in California? Mike, are you listening? Yeah. Are you holding? I, oh, how are you doing today? Thanks for taking my call. I was sure. just looking at Tesla and uh, seeing that it's a uh, huge retrace up near its highs. And I... I'd like your input on a safe entry point or a, uh, a better a better entry point where you think it's going to go from here. Well, so um, I, my, my system is somewhat frozen. I, I got my white background charts here moving. You, you mentioned the word safe, and uh, there is no yeah. such thing. <laughs> when it comes to, but you you kind of caught that too. But let me tell you what right. what is let me tell you what Tesla is doing as we speak right now, which is it's trading below the bottom of its profile. And that's a level where there should be support, and that level out here is at eight ninety five thirty three. We're at eight seventy one okay. right now. So what this is telling us. Mike, is that price is going to go and test or should test the swing point from January 28th. Now, I'll put switch back to my other screen. But yeah, that so it's like around 800, uh, eight, a little bit under $800. Yeah, what I was really interested in is the volume on that candle session, because if uh, let's see if let's see if it's uh, not still not up on my screen yeah, here. Volume, so I'm, 40, 44 million shares on that day. Perfect. So we're gonna. This is gonna be a team team effort here. So forty four million shares on that day. What kind of volume does it have right now for you, in today's rating? Uh, right now, it's fifteen million. Fifteen. So we're light. And if this yeah. doesn't hit, if does not hit the high of January twenty eighth, which is eight fifty seven fifty, and stops really kind of right be before that. Um, maybe okay. it's just bu as building cause, as Tom likes to say over the weekend, to try to take that okay. out. 
Um, as far as where was or is a, a place to uh, sell into, one place would be resistance. And that would have been the high that was attacked yesterday, the day before, two days before that, which was yeah, the top yeah, of the they, profile. Yeah. Yeah, at the 939, I guess I guess right. 1070 is actually the top of a, a profile. I see that also as a breakdown area. But because uh -huh. price had moved below the bottom of this bullish structured profile, counter trend rallies typically resolve themselves at the center, which is at that 939.20 area. So that really, okay. and it's, e it's easy for you and I to make that call now. Um, but you've heard, if you listen to the show, you know, you've heard me say many times when you close below the bottom of a bullish structured profile, counter trend moves usually find resistance at the center of that level. And that is exactly how things have played out here in Tesla. Now, I don't know if it's going to break out the lows, but it sure looks like it's going to go target those lows. And if it does, and it takes that uh, January 28th uh, session out, then you probably have a new A to B equals CD to the downside. So does okay. that help you? Does that help you with what you're looking yeah, for? Yeah, it really does. Thank you very much. If if you have another second, you could take a look at the Russell index. Tell me sure. what you see as far as the um, the Russell from from the high, which is twenty four sixty, down to the low eighteen ninety two. We're at uh, the Fibonacci, uh, just below the three eight two retracement. It went up to the point five zero or, or fifty percent retracement, mm -hmm. a little bit above that, and then it's coming down now. Obviously, like everything's coming down now. Yeah. So, you know, in the case of the IWM and assuming that my system here is, is still a little bit frozen, but I had about 20 million shares. Um, and again, I don't know where where the IWM is printing right now, but the that IWM. Is, uh, two, 20109. And it looks like. uh it looks like uh, 20 million shares today. Okay, so the swing right point that it's going to deal with here, Mike, or should deal with, is the one from February 4th, which was the potential of a C point of an A to B equals CD to the upside. So that's the Are swing, and that has... The low, the low on that date? Uh, the low on that date is 194.92. Okay, great. And the high, the high on that date right. is two two hundred point one zero. So, again, on my system, price hasn't gotten back there. But if price does get inside that swing point and it gets inside that swing point with more than 34 million shares, then that suggests at least the low gets tested, 194.92. Okay. If the low fails to hold, then that gets us back into the swing point from January 28th. And if volume is coming down in there with more than 65 million shares, then that low should get tested at 188.09. So the interesting okay. thing here is that you know yesterday there was a volume push and it was both to the upside and to the downside and it wasn't really clear to me which yeah, it side was it was yesterday yeah. like a doji almost <laughs> almost but you know really more like a more like a shooting star but yeah you know similar to a, okay. a doji doji style candle out there um, i would say the real key level to be watching here for the IWM is that if it's red oscillator and change line fails, which I have right now, Mike, at about 198 and change, 198.31 yeah. or so. If you were to see okay. a close below, if you were to see a close below that, we're going to go back and retest those highs. Maybe it's the high of the of the low swing point, maybe it's the low of the swing point, but we should go back and okay. test that. So, so watch that area um, for information. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you for taking the time, and I really appreciate your input. My pleasure. Uh, uh, let's go to our next question out here, folks. And okay, that was from Hector. So let's go back to the uh, XLE out here. And uh, again, the system is really pretty clogged out here. Let's see if the XLE will pop up on the screen. And if not, uh, do I have a game plan B for it? And the answer is I don't. We're going to let this do its work on XLE. Here's my game plan B. I have XLF. So we're going to go to XLF. And uh, I'm really not sure. Uh, well, that's a long note. I can't read that. I'll read that. Uh, I'll read that later and respond if I need to uh, for you, uh, Hector. Uh, just I've got a minute left here, and it might take me a minute to read. So, if we take a look at the daily time frame chart for the uh, XLE, it's got a TD9 count top. 
That formed out here on February 9th. Price right now, when you form a top, in this case, you're a TD9 count top, all that really tells us is price is going to go back and test support. Well, the XLF right now, Hector, is testing this key level of support. It's at 40.10. The actual low so far today has been 40.11. you got to love that. Now, if prices close below 40.10, what that really suggests to you, Hector, is price should move back to the next support level. That would be the bullish structured area of its daily profile. That would be between 39.16 and 39.65. So watch this 40.11-ish area price closes below that anticipate and expect lower price you've got price below the weekly oscillator and change line so that suggests a further retracement um, don't have anything out here other than support is at 38.58 for the monthly time frame so while uh, watch that green oscillator and change line for the daily time frame i think and if that holds out here you've got a topping signal and a level of support that is held and you really kind of have to a certain extent a neutralish type of signal out there so hector and patty i hope that helps you out Thanks so much for being patient and writing in, and have a fantastic weekend. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. Folks, say my screen, my my system is totally frozen. I was going to go to game plan B, but I do have the uh, 
And you've got the white background charts seem to be working here. So uh, here is the XLE. This is for Hector. I don't think we got to it. It's just the daily time frame out here. So Hector, you've got a TD9 count top that formed on the uh, trading day of February 7th. And all that's led to is a little consolidation with inside its daily profile. Price right now is trading above. This is the XLE above the top of the profile. That's at 69.81. But the level that price needs to close above to get back to, to its bullish ways is 70.43. And I believe we're at about 69.96 right now. So we'll close above 70.43, and the XLE is back to its merry way. It doesn't have to close above that today. It could do that on uh, Monday. Uh, but if it doesn't do it today, you've negated the uh, sell signals for the energy sector. Um, Gary, uh, what is this asking for? Quad M. Solutions. Let me uh, just take this. Well, it doesn't matter which screen I'm on right now because I had to shut down the main system. So let me try three, four M's out here and see what pops up on the screen. This is for Gary and New Buffalo. So when we take a look at this, what we have is we've got a confirmed A to B equals CD to the downside. was confirm, confirmed with this bull sash candle on February 3rd. Makes a rally, gets above the top of its profile, does it for three days until yesterday, gets back below. You've got a new profile that's forming. It's below price. So this is really a bullish message. When price, when a new profile forms below price, that is a bullish signal. Doesn't mean that price won't go test it, which is 26 cents out there. Price get down to 24 or 23 or even 20 cents. Those are other support levels out here. But this may be just setting up the C point of an A to B equals CD to the upside. Then we take it to the next resistance level, and that would be at the 39 cent mark. And that's the TD9 count breakdown area. So folks, sorry about a couple of these technical problems. Have a fantastic weekend. Thanks so much for joining us as always. And I look forward to seeing you on Valentine's Day. Will you be my Valentine? I hope so. And we'll see you at one o'clock on Monday. Take care. Be safe out there. Have fun.